my name is Claire and today things at GFC at home are a little bit different. This morning we received a top priority mission and we need your help to solve it. Now this mission will require bravery, creativity and a whole lot of innovation. We need you to design a brand new method of transport so that humans can keep exploring our world without harming our planet. So let's take a look at the facts of the mission. We have lots of methods of transport that let us travel really far distances. We've got cars, boats, planes and even rockets so we can go to space. The problem is most of these methods of transport are not very good for our planet and it's all because of the fossil fuels they use for energy. When we burn fossil fuels like oil, coal and natural gas to release energy, it also releases carbon dioxide into the air or atmosphere around our planet. This acts a bit like putting a thick woolly jumper around Earth. It traps lots of extra heat and it causes global warming. This can lead to changes in our climate, like extreme weather where some places will experience flooding where there's way too much rain and others will experience droughts where there's not enough rain to support life. You can see why our mission today is a top priority so we can stop burning fossil fuels to power our vehicles. To complete our mission, we will need some high tech gadgets that scientists and engineers have been developing for this important cause. We'll use renewable energy that's generated from resources on our planet that won't run out when we use them, like wind or sunlight. Let's take a look. Our first super cool gadget, or should I say super hot, comes from the sun. We can use solar panels to make electricity from sunlight. Every year there's an incredible race called the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge where teams race across Australia in vehicles powered only by the sun. Have you ever seen solar panels outside? Where were they? What were they powering? Luckily, there are lots of ways that we can make electricity without producing carbon dioxide which is great news for our planet. We can even use the waves and the tides from the sea. Underwater turbines are pushed by the waves and that generates electricity that we can use to power vehicles. Have you ever seen a charging point for electric vehicles? More and more people are using electric cars and in Edinburgh, even the trams run on electricity. Another amazing gadget we can use relies on the hot molten rock called magma that lies under the surface of our planet. With geothermal energy, we drill into the ground and capture steam created by the hot magma. This steam turns a generator, which produces electricity. If you've ever seen a volcano erupting or a geyser exploding with boiling hot water, then you have seen geothermal energy working. The great thing about geothermal energy is that we can produce it day or night, no matter what the weather, unlike wind and solar energy. So it might be a great choice for our new vehicles. Our next gadget uses something we get quite a lot of here in Scotland. Wind. We can use wind turbines to make electricity, just like the ones we have at the Whiteley Wind Farm. Right here in Scotland, in Orkney, we use electricity from wind turbines and seawater to make hydrogen in a process 
called electrolysis. We then use this hydrogen to power small boats and ferries, all without making any carbon dioxide. In Aberdeen, we're even testing buses that run on hydrogen, and the only waste they make is water. How amazing is that? You can use any of these amazing gadgets to power your new type of transport. Or maybe you can even create your own type of renewable energy, like laughter or burps. <coughs> you can use pens and pencils to draw your design, or you can make a model using recycling. When designing your new transport, it's really important to think about its purpose. For example, how many people will it transport? How fast does it need to travel? Will it move through the sea, on the land, or through the air? And most importantly, how will it get its energy? Solving problems like global warming caused by the burning of fossil fuels requires every single person and loads of great ideas. So, to help, we've gathered a team of designers to help you with your mission and share their ideas. First, I'll talk you through my design. Then, we'll see what David, Carla and Rudy have come up with. I've created a hot air balloon with a glass pod that can fit up to four people inside. Hot air balloons burn gas to make hot air, which makes the balloon float. So, I've decided this balloon will burn hydrogen. Where's it going to get the hydrogen? Well, it's going to make its own. These solar panels all around the balloon make electricity from sunlight. This electricity can then be used to turn the water in this tank into hydrogen, just like the ferry on Orkney. Luckily, the only waste made is water, which can go back into the tank or used to water fields as it flies by. Let's take a look at what David's been working on. Thanks, Claire. Hi there, everyone. So for my design, I created these fabulous rainbow roller skates. The main part of the challenge was to come up with an alternative fuel source, and I have decided to use rainbow power. To create the rainbows, we have a pollution condenser slash sprinkler on the back, which sucks in air from all around us, filters out the pollution, good job, and sprays out some water from the back. As light goes through those sprinkles, it turns into a rainbow, which is reflected off a rainbow propelling reflector. Patent pending. You can go long at great speeds, but don't worry, there is a recycled plastic stopper at the front so that you can stop when you want. And hey, not everyone wants to use roller skates, so it is also available in wheelchair, bike, scooter and skateboard. Oh, wow! I'd love a pair of those skates. Let's see what Carla's been creating. Thanks, Claire. Hi, everyone. For my future transport, I have decided to tackle another big problem we have, which is pollution of our seas. So, my design is a boat powered by solar power, but with a rubbish sensor attached. If the boat detects rubbish while in the water, what it will do is suck it up through the vacuum and use it to power the boat. As a backup, this boat can alternatively run completely on solar panels, which are built into the sails. How cool was that? Let's see what Rudy's been working on. Thanks, Claire. Hi, everyone. For my future transport, I've decided to think big and design a vehicle that flies. No more traffic jams for me, we're going to take to the air. So the most important thing about designing our new environmentally friendly vehicle is picking a clean and renewable energy source. So to get its energy, my vehicle is going to be a wind turbine, just like you might see all over Scotland getting the energy it needs from the wind spinning its blades round and round. Now, Whenever it's fully charged, it's time to fly, so the blades of the wind turbine are going to come down and the vehicle is going to transform into a helicopter. Our wind energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy as we speed along, heat energy to keep us nice and warm inside, but most importantly sound energy as we're going to listen to our favourite tunes. That is my design for the vehicle. Well, weren't those designs amazing and so creative? 
I'm sure you'll come up with some extraordinary vehicles that use renewable energy. So don't forget to send us photos and videos of them with the hashtag GSC at home. Best of luck with this top priority mission and thank you so much for your help. Bye!